Hi, today I'm going to be doing a strange video. I don't really like talking because I feel awkward, but I wanted to do this to like self reflect and stuff. <laughs> Improving myself. Do you like my t shirt? It was only £4 from Boohoo. It's really comfy. Also, my nails do be looking good though, kind of matching. my stomach if you heard that um so basically i think i wanted to go through my memory box from 2017 because when i was 15 i turned 16 in 2017 so when i turned 15 no 16 i wrote a list of 15 things i learned being 15 sorry if someone's watching and I wanted to read through it and like just remind myself of my mindsets when I was 15 see if I could um like see if I, I any <laughs> what the fuck did they wrote? <laughs> see if any of them have changed and like anything that I learned has I've now improved on or I still value and like when I was 15 I was very optimistic I saw like the beauty in life and I was living my best life but now it's kind of the opposite so I've been struggling to see the beauty of life so I wanted to remind myself of what I used to be like and to try and get some of those values back obviously some of them are going to be wrong because when you're 15 you've got no idea so yeah also um, if you want <laughs> anyone watching wants um, what's in my memory box from 2017 and just say, I've also got one from 2018 and last year. But I don't know if I want to go through last year's one. Um, yeah, if you want that, then just tell me. Because I've got some weird stuff in here. Okay, so this is my journal. I literally journaled like so much like, um, 2017. I don't know how I did it because I can't barely write a sentence now anymore. <laughs> But literally at least three times a week I would do it, if not every day. And I am glad I did it because now I can look back and see how I was and like how my life was. I wish I could do it now, well I obviously can, but finding the motivation is just so hard when I don't want to, you know, <laughs> my god, itchy face. Okay. So if you also want me to do a video reading my journal, I was just reading something really cringy about, no, I'm not even going to go into it, <laughs> about someone. But yeah, I'm just going to read it, like what this short thing that says, Sunday 18th of June 2017. This was a dream I had. We broke into our old primary school and found out some scandals, messed up secrets. We are super badass in it. I felt the need to write that down. And to be honest, sometimes I wish I do write my dreams down because they are all strange dreams. But I'm hoping this, like reading this, will inspire me to get back into journaling so I can look back on my life because I'm very. Um, nostalgic like sentimental person anyway moving on to the purpose of this 15 things i learned at age 15 number one it's okay to change your opinions and views it doesn't mean you are changing your personality i definitely still agree with that and i've my opinions have changed since i've been 15 to now when i'm 18 so definitely still have that mindset that people learn and that they don't grow up knowing everything, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I can't explain that. Well, because my brain doesn't work. Anyway, number two. You're only 15. It doesn't matter if you haven't figured much out yet. You have all the time in the world to become who you want. I still struggle with that now, being 18, thinking that I've got to do everything now and I've got to like be busy all the time I've got to like be living my best life I mean I was living my best life when I was here but obviously at the time I didn't see it so it's so hard to like realize that 
and you've got so much time left even though it doesn't feel like it because I feel like 18 is old but it's obviously not old like I've got my whole life ahead but in in the moment it doesn't feel like that so I still struggle with that one I still like need to like put myself in the present moment rather than worrying about how much time I've got left that's kind of weird <coughs> oh this one's gonna make me really cringe a lot and I think I want to read this I'm gonna have to number three you may feel like the only one without a boyfriend but most people your age are feeling the same way you're only 15 and you don't need a boy right now you are your own soulmate so remember that when you are feeling sad about boys stick to imagining cute scenes in your head with harry styles why do i still do that <laughs> no that's true though i'm so glad i didn't have a boyfriend when i was 15 because that would have just i don't know i was just having fun with my friends and what well, to be fair i did have a boyfriend but that doesn't really count when i was 16 but um yeah i'm so glad i didn't have a boyfriend till i was older because i just would have just i don't know not been as fun like i wouldn't have had as much fun with my friends and stuff so i am glad i didn't and i still feel makeup seems <laughs> about harry styles that's so funny but thanks thanks 15 year old me for reminding me i'm my own soulmate thank you i watched a lot of sex in the city when i was 15 and i was obsessed with that kind of stuff like being a woman <laughs> okay number four you may not have a super flat stomach, but that does not mean you're fat. There are vital organs in there and you'll come to see that having a flat stomach can actually look scarily unhealthy. Stop focusing on the slight curve of your stomach. Most are envious of you. Um, I don't know like, if that's kind of mean, like saying <laughs> having a flat stomach is scarily unhealthy because that's obviously not true. But I was just trying to make myself feel better about having like a curve on my stomach but it's actually just organs like it's straight up my ovaries my uterus just chilling it's not fat and i still agree with that but obviously when you've got like other girls who are much skinnier it's hard to see that and hard to love your own body so obviously i still struggle with that everyone struggles with that um well the hair in my mouth but yeah, I still agree. I still need to like keep reminding myself that. Although recently I just don't look at my body when I just get changed. That's bad. But I am trying to work on like liking every part of myself. We all need self love. Okay, <laughs> number five. Just because you can't travel now or drive doesn't mean you can't have fun and create amazing memories. I still can't drive because I'm incapable of doing anything like that. But I am traveling. I'm going to Thailand in 38 days. Wow. So that has come around and like I've manifested it into my life. But I've also had lots of amazing memories like in my village. I, I don't want to leave this and grow up. I had an amazing childhood and teenage years doing fun things with my friends. So I needed to, at that time, stop trying to fast forward my life to when I could like, go traveling and drive and stuff. And I'm glad I wrote that down because that means I was practicing that when I was 15. But I still am trying to speed things up at the moment just because life do be boring though at the moment. But remind, reminding myself that, um, can still create amazing memories in my room watching TikToks. Never mind. <laughs> Oops. My throat has gone numb. Just need to sit up. Okay. Number six. Capture all your favorite memories on video. Even if you get told you aren't living in the moment, just don't listen and do it for yourself because you'll love it and appreciate the nostalgia watching them back yes i haven't really spent a lot of time videoing in the past year i'd say like i've gone less um into taking videos of everything that i do 
and I do miss it because I used to like make a video every single month of how my month was. Now my months just be work and sleep. But I definitely want to get back into it. And when I go traveling, like I'm going to um, Thailand and Italy and Greece, I'm gonna try and do like video vlogs every single day just because I know that, because they're such an amazing experience. Obviously I will be in the moment, but videoing it can also mean you're in the moment. Like it doesn't, it really annoys me when people, like when you go to concerts and you like film something and then people like, oh, get off your phone. I mean, if you want to do that, not shouting for me, then why not? If you want to save your memories, then why not? So yeah, I can live in the moment and also capture it on video, that's what I'm trying to say. And yeah, I filmed so much of my life when I was 15. I wish I still did that because my memory is shit. <laughs> okay, number seven, wanting to, <laughs> no, I can't. Wanting to feel heartbreak is not a bad thing. It's just wanting to experience everything people go through. That's why you were so desperate to go to American school or stay for a summer in Australia. It's okay to want to experience every way of living. Why did I want to experience heartbreak? No. What a dumb bitch, honestly. No, I'm kidding. I was just bored because I was obviously not feeling any sadness. But why? She has no idea, honestly. Stupid hoe. <laughs> But I used to wanted to do this exchange year where I went to America uh, with a host family. And I really wanted to do it, but I wasn't allowed. Plus it was so much money. Also, I wanted to stay in Australia for a summer. I don't even remember wanting to do that. It's okay to want to experience every way of living. Yeah, I do agree with that, but like also appreciate what appreciate how you're experiencing it now. Otherwise, you're just going to be chasing after something all the time. So yeah, kind of cringe reading that. Okay. So yeah, I don't know why I wanted to feel heartbreak. It's so dumb. It really ain't fun. Okay, number eight. America isn't the best country in the world, and although you want to travel and maybe live there, you have come to love some things about the UK. You even defend it and enjoy being here now. I really don't want to live in America anymore, I really don't. I wouldn't mind visiting it, but living in America seems really not good. Um, so I'm glad I got out of that stage. It's just because like social media, so many people, famous people are from America and like I used to watch YouTubers who were from there and um, back then when I had Vine, everyone was from America and it just seemed fun but realistically everyone makes it seem fun, like everyone on their social media makes whatever they're doing seem fun so I don't want to live there, no thanks, it's not for me. Number nine, you need to stop comparing. I know it's hard, but it's just making you miserable and it's the only thing holding you back, that and others' opinions. Obviously, I still struggle with that. Everyone must struggle with comparing themselves to other people and like comparing your life and worrying about others' opinions. That's something I'm still working on, probably will be working on it all my life because it's such a difficult thing to get over. But I've definitely improved since then. I used to only wear black clothes, I didn't want to be seen or anything, but now I'm wearing rainbow stuff. I'll just get my coat for you to show you how extremely I am. This is what I wear out in public. So I've really definitely improved on how um, I worry about others, but it still is very big part of my unconfidence-ness, that word, who knows, at this point, but yeah, it's so weird, I've struggled with it, I guess everyone struggles with it all their life, well, not 
every single person but most people which is kind of shit yeah moving on <laughs> number 10 just because you are shy and quiet doesn't mean you're an introvert in fact when you're feeling confident going out is the best thing in the world you get your energy from other people not yourself so stop saying no when your friends ask you to go out say yes and book it for chris if you don't get that reference it was from skins and makes me cry when i think about it but yeah i feel like i don't really struggle with this anymore i don't believe i'm an introvert just because i know when i go out with my friends i feel so much better than sitting by myself because i was shy i just thought oh, i have to be by myself because i'm too shy to interact with other people that's not the case though it's not it sis it's really annoying me about my hair look how bright that is underneath what the hell anyway not the point but yeah i do say yes a lot more now i used to say no and i'd never want to go out and see my friends don't know why though because i i had fun with my friends i just was unconfident i guess but yeah that's definitely changed <sighs> crazy number 11 once you pu stop pushing everyone away and let people in you become com and oh sorry let me start again <laughs> ouch my throat i don't have the disease no worries <laughs> once you stop stop pushing everyone away and let people in and become comfortable around them you'll realize how precious and amazing friends are that that doesn't just consider friends i guess now considers like family like everyone once you let people in amazing and a lot less lonely and i agree <sighs> i don't really know what to say about that obviously i need to stop pushing people but i don't i don't anymore i don't feel mm, maybe I, I find it hard to tell people how i'm feeling okay really but i don't think i push people mm, no i don't i don't know it's confusing i don't think i do anyway moving on number 12 embarrassment may be the worst feeling but once you embrace it and enjoy laughing at yourself nothing will ever stop you from doing what you want and nothing will hold you back damn that's deep shit i agree but still i hate being embarrassed and i hate everyone obviously hates feeling embarrassed and i really need to start like embracing that i am a cringy bitch no for real Has this got like bee filter on? Because my skin is not that clear in my life. <gasps> Ow. Anyway. I need to do that. I need to like. I still believe. I mean, I still believe in that. I need to put that into my. into the world, you know? Instead of just saying it. Easier said than done. I need to I need to really think about that because I do let other people's opinions and like whether I'll be embarrassed or not stop me from doing stuff. An example is um when I was at work I didn't want to bring in a microwavable meal because I thought people would look at me weirdly. I don't know what my head does. She's just dumb. So I don't know why, so I stopped. I just got like pop noodle instead. You know what, that story's irrelevant, but. Okay, number 13. Nobody influences the way you are feeling. It's you who is creating these sad feelings and only you. Although people can influence. What? That contradicts what the first sentence says. Although people can influence them, you're the only one who can change your emotions. So stop feeling sorry for yourself and stay positive. I mean, that doesn't make sense because it says nobody influences the way you're feeling. Although people can influence you. Um, okay. This is kind of dumb, but okay. No. What I was trying to say is true. 
as that although people can um, influence you and like say things or do things that can lead on to you feeling sad ultimately you can change how you're feeling and I need to sort that out in myself you know my mind is powerful and she will be able to do move these feelings so stay positive oh, I don't know what's wrong with me today or every day anyway number 14 Stop waiting for something to happen. New friends, new ideas, new boyfriend. Enjoy what you have now because it won't last forever. Live in the moment and appreciate who you do have and the creative ideas you have now because one day you will wish you had them back. I do wish I was 15, so I'd be true. I do, I do be true though. No, that is very true. Appreciate what you have. But that's hard to do when you are feeling so shit but you just have to remind yourself you are amazing that's what um like being gr grat gratitude affirmations that's what you need to do well what i need to do i have written them down i just can't be asked to read them every day <laughs> next question no next one the final one number 15 you have ridiculous amounts of time if you have a lazy day don't beat yourself up over it Enjoy doing nothing and enjoy having time. I definitely, definitely struggle with that still because recently I quit my last job, didn't have a job for a month and then now that I've got a job, it's rare that I work full-time hours like because it's part-time, I can do overtime. It's rare that I do like five days a week. So when I'm at home, I'm bored. I just feel like I'm wasting a good day and doing nothing product productive but sometimes you don't have to do something productive you shouldn't feel guilty for not doing that and i need to start realizing that even though i need to do my uni portfolio that's out of my mind until the day before the uni portfolio is due i do need to do that just reading this one i just scribbled out So I scribbled this out, I don't know why. Um, you are only 15, you don't have to be the same person your whole life. Change your mind or views, whatever you want, but don't do it just because you want change. When I was 15 or 16, I was obsessed with change. And now I guess I don't like it as much because growing up is terrifying. But it wasn't the kind of change that's actually real, it's more like changing my appearance, changing like my room around, that's the kind of change I'd enjoy. But I didn't know real change like I do now. So I was obsessed with change. That's why I went I went to a different college because I thought, oh well, live my best life, but college was shit. So proof that when I was fifteen I was kind of wise, more wise than I am now, but I also was kind of dumb. Those were the 15 things I learned when I was 15. I actually planned when I was 15 to make a video of this. I'm not sure why I didn't, probably because I was lazy. If you go back into like um, me at age 15 or like May 2017, I, I wrote at the end I'm going to be doing 15 things I learned at age 15. Next video, and it never came out. So. You're welcome for getting it from an 18 year old's perspective. I also wrote a letter when I was 14 to myself, age 18. I read that on my 18th birthday, but I don't know where I put it. And I did end up writing one into, to my 21 year old self on my 18th birthday. I don't know where I've put them. Obviously, I wouldn't read the 21 year old, but I would want to read the one I wrote to my 14 year old self even though it was I remember it was so cringy obviously so that's it I've got a headache now <laughs> the last entry of this is 1st of January 2017 and I was drunk my writing is massive
and the ending sentence is YOLO, I'm pissed. That just sums up what kind of person I was then. <laughs> I've always been sentimental about like the end of years and it was the end of the decade this year so that fucked me up a lot. One second, I just gotta read this. 1st of January 2017. Starting this because I read about it in a fanfic. That's enough reading for today. Um, thanks for watching this, even though it was a mess. I just kinda did it for myself and I thought filming it rather than just talking to myself out loud, it's a bit more um, sane, which I am not. So thank you, goodbye, and if you want another one, let me know.